What's up Star Wars Battlefront 3 fans, Cyberace Gaming here and welcome back to my Star Wars Battlefront 3 series. Now today as promised I'm going to be showing you guys a fan made unofficial version of Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now this is a far from perfect project, however it is something playable and while it may not be exactly the most enjoyable playing experience, it's something, it's a glimmer of hope and maybe if I bring this to your guys' attention you guys can help support the developer of this game and we can turn this fan made game into something a little more. So. It's pretty simple what you got when you're actually in the game, and the mouse sensitivity, even with it turned all the way down on my computer, is crazy, so be careful there. You got your settings, set your window screen resolutions, you got your controls over here, pretty simple, no different than playing something like TF2. Multiplayer, which isn't actually available yet, and you got instant action. Now this is the alpha demo mode, it is pretty much all that's been released so far, so there's not exactly much you can do, however the guy is trying to look for some funding to help support the project, so you guys can go over to the website in the description below and try to help him out. I am in no way being paid or asked to promote this game. I'm just a really big fan of the Star Wars Battlefront 3 community and Star Wars Battlefront 3 or the Battlefront series, so I'd really like to see something like this be supported. So I'm going to just jump right into some gameplay for you guys. We got Instant Action, uh, Clone Wars not available here, Galactic Civil War is, and all these modes aren't available. The only mode that's available is Supremacy, uh, Sulminate or most of the enemy troops units, and no capture command posts. So uh, here we go, and. The only one uh, planet available is uh, Christophsis, I don't really know how to say that. And we're going right into the game. So it's nothing too exactly special, but we're just going to show you what's going on. So you got the Rebels and the Empire. I'll show you the, the Empire first plays the Stormtrooper, Sand Trooper, Rocket Launcher, Imperial Engineer, uh, Scout Trooper, Imperial Officer, Bounty Hunter, you know, stuff that's pretty similar to the Battlefront games itself. If you ask me, this game's more close to playing Battlefront 1 than it is to playing Battlefront 3 if there was one. However, it's a start for somebody who's developing this on their own with the Unreal Engine. And here we have the Rebels, you know, your Soldier, Vanguard, Marksman, uh, Mercenary, uh, Alkin Warrior, that's something new, and a Rebel Captain. So I'm just going to go Soldier, and let me warn you that the guy, the gameplay is nothing too ex too special. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good for what it is. If you're looking for like an actual console experience, you're not going to find it here, but let me just jump right into it. As you can see, for something that somebody developed on their own, it, it plays nicely. It's a little shaky, a lot of shaky, uh, and I'm really glad it has this like on-screen aiming thing, because it helps a lot when actually trying to fight. You can jump around, move around, dodge things, stuff like that, cover yourself, and, and all of that good stuff. And obviously the, uh, you know, the system works. Uh, the game really needs some touching up, the buildings, the maps, the graphics, and, you know, the system in general does. However, you can see that the game's actually playable. I mean, I've got a, fr the frame rate's not that bad, uh, to be honest, and it's certainly like a playable game. I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. It's kind of hard to play, but I just want to show you guys that there's like kind of a glimmer of hope on this project, and I just figured it'd be something really cool to show you. So I'll, I'll show you guys, you know, a little bit more gameplay. I'll try playing as, uh, the Stormtroopers now. For if my why is the my okay so my mouse only wants me to respawn as a rebel. Let's try a rebel mercenary. That looks cool. Shotgun. Okay. So I mean it, it looks a little weird. The graphics aren't you know up to par with consoles, uh, but the system is certainly working. And for somebody who's developing something on their own, I'm definitely impressed. So let me choose my command point over here. Command point two, right on the front line there. And let's just see what we can do here. Uh, honestly, I, I think the game has some potential, you know, it's, it's nothing too, uh, too serious, no professional game going on here, but perhaps with, you know, the proper community we could make this game into something fun and enjoyable for us all to play, I don't know, but I thought I'd make a video spotlighting on it, so, as always, I'm Cyber Race Gaming, and this was a video on the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show, I'm glad I got the opportunity to show you this fan-made game, and the download link will be in the description below, if you will kindly tell the guy that Cyber Race Gaming sent you, if there's even a contact form on the website, because I don't know, that would be awesome, but not required, because I'm doing it to help him out, he doesn't even know I'm doing this video, so, thanks a lot for watching, and subscribe to the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show for all of my news, rumors, and all of that. And if gameplay, or if the game ever comes out, you can be sure there's going to be gameplay up on my channel. As always, thanks for watching, fellas, and I'll see you in the next video.